Let's talk about the 11 ways to boost your melatonin if you want to sleep better. Now, melatonin is a hormone that is made by the pineal gland, and it's stimulated by darkness and turned off or inhibited by sunlight. So if you think about a muscle, you contract it and then you relax it, right? So you definitely want to experience darkness at night and not, of course, sleep when there's any type of lights in the room or while the TV's on to stimulate melatonin. But you also need the sun to turn off the release. But if you overstimulate melatonin, that's not good either. So if you're going to contract a muscle, you also have to relax it. So we need the right balance of darkness and light back and forth. The sunlight, preferably sunlight, recharges uh, the pineal gland and also the vitamin D from the sun also greatly helps the recycling effect of melatonin in the pineal gland. And by the way, if you're taking melatonin, uh, that will help your sleep. But over time, you need more and more melatonin. So then your pineal gland becomes more dependent on it. So I don't recommend taking melatonin as a supplement for your sleep problem. All right, number three, too much blue light can decrease melatonin. That would come from being on your computer too much, your cell phone, certain lights that you have in your house can all emit blue light, and that's not very healthy. By the way, red light, um, there's certain types of red light that are therapies can help increase melatonin. Number four, no heavy eating right before bed. You don't want to consume a Texas-style steak right before bed because sometimes that bloating can affect your ability to sleep. All right, number five, glucose or sugar will increase insulin, okay? Then what happens is your blood sugars come down, you develop hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, and then the counter-regulatory hormones like adrenaline and cortisol kick in, and that will actually keep you up. So refined carbohydrates or sugars might help you sleep initially, but then it's going to be short-lived. When I was in my 20s, I couldn't sleep. And so my solution was to consume a Ben and Jerry's, a pint before bed. I would consume that whole thing, go right to sleep like in a coma, wake up at two o'clock, completely awake, very, very stressed out. So it wasn't a long-term solution. I didn't know what to do at the time. Okay, number six, decreasing stress. Stress obviously lowers uh, melatonin because it increases cortisol. Number seven, certain TV programs, uh, action uh, type uh, movies that you watch right before bed, scary movies, not good. The news, very, very bad uh, right before bed. It's going to keep you up. So avoid TV or watch something that's more like a comedy. All right, number eight, caffeine. Cut down the caffeine. Even if you're consuming caffeine in the morning, you're doing like two or three large cups, that could affect your liver and also inhibit your melatonin uh, at night. So I would recommend consuming one medium or a small cup if possible. All right, number nine, there's certain cofactors or, or nutrients that are involved in making melatonin. Uh, you need magnesium, leafy greens, vegetables, folate, vegetables, B3, B6, B12, zinc, and calcium are all needed to make melatonin. And number 10, there are certain types of foods that have tryptophan. Tryptophan is an essential amino acid, okay? So it's in uh, most all proteins. It's in high in walnuts. It's actually milk. If you've heard of like night milk, people drink some milk before bed and they sleep, they sleep better. Um, I'm not recommending milk. I'm just saying that it has tryptophan in it. Uh, wine has some tryptophan. Now, the problem with wine is that it has sulfites and it has other things that can also keep you up at night. So, so even though it can actually increase your melatonin, it can also counter that as well. And then coffee can increase melatonin, but it has the caffeine to inhibit the melatonin. So I'm not recommending these to sleep. But believe it or not, some people sleep better when they drink coffee. Go figure. Okay, 11 yellow and green vegetables can increase your melatonin. All right, so if you want more tips on sleep, check out these videos on the screen.